extra minutes. How many years have you been coming to Pamplona now? 37. 37? Wow, not nearly enough. <laughs> what is it about running with the bulls? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a challenge. Hmm? And it's to, to be able to go out there and say, uh, after all these years, do I, do I have the balls to stand out here and, and wait for what's coming down that street? You know, six fighting bulls are coming down the street. Really, once you hear the rocket go and you can hear the bulls and that just clatter, it sounds like a hammer on, a, on an anvil of their hooves and the <laughs> and, and the bells of the steers. And I see the flash bulbs popping up there. That's how I can follow them. And the, and the herdsmen behind with their, their uh, sticks above. Yeah, I know the bulls are in front of them and, and the intensity of people running. Then you're no longer afraid. Then, then you're thinking and reacting and hoping you can uh, reach that moment of exhilaration. Oh, you see there's a horn and, and you hear it. <laughs> wow. Have you been badly injured? Uh, many times I've never had a serious horn wound. I, I've been what we call a baritata, where they, where they graze your face or your, or your legs or something like that. But the injuries I've had have been from falling down and breaking all of your ribs and, and, and things of this nature, and having the flesh ripped out of your back and, and other places and all that, uh, and my sternum crushed. That, that, those are the injuries I've had most. Now, n luckily, no horn wounds, and uh, I'm not looking forward to them either. I have no death wish at all. But you could die during Oh, yes, of course. Well, well, if not, why would we, if we couldn't, why would we do this? I mean, it'd be like running with goats or something. Now, and you know that you know, it has to be. It has to that the the element of, of danger of death has to be present. It's like bullfighting. You know, Hemingway said it's the only art in which the art the artist is in danger of death. Well, and, and bullfighting, in my opinion, I know many people don't believe this. All right, it's an art. Well, uh, the same here. If the danger of death wasn't present, why do that? Do Do you see this as a, a test of manhood or? Proof of courage, <laughs> act of stupidity. I, 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 I do. You're going to say it's probably being certifiably insane. You know, we don't need a psychologist. They can just hand out their certificates as we're getting into the run in the morning. You know, thank you. I've got another one. When someone is killed, like the young Spaniard a few years back, how does that affect you? Uh, well, uh, you stop and, and reflect. Uh, upon all of this, and, and you know <clears throat> that this is all great fun, okay? Uh, but occasionally, this is death, you know, surfaces, hey, okay? right? And, and there it is, and it can happen to any one of us at any time. And it's miraculous that there aren't many more, uh, again. We have from two to 4,000 people running okay, for eight days with six Spanish bulls. Well, uh, it's miraculous. Uh, it makes you believe in uh, San Fermin. Uh, and I, I think about it, I stop, and I think about death and, and being killed here. Um, See, Larry, you're a university professor. You're yeah. a smart man. Well, I, you know what? <laughs> But I probably, yeah, it has a lot of explanations. But people ask me, why do you do that? And I say, the question is, how could you not do it? And you know, the excitement and the thrill and the challenge of that. And then once you begin to do it and learn about it, oh, you can't let it go. I mean, I, I'm going to be 65 years old. I'm entirely too old for this. But fortunately in Spain, there's no mandatory retirement age for it mature bull runners. So I can continue as long as I, I can do it. So if I come back in 15 years, well, that, a good I, chance you'll well, still Well, we don't running. know about that. <laughs> Maybe five. <laughs>